Hey guys, welcome back to another episode, and today it's strictly powder coating. Today we're talking powder coating. As you know, if you follow along with us, uh, we've got a whole new powder coating set up with the booth and the oven, and it's bigger, and we expanded it. Um, it's still just a portion of what we do, so it's not all we do, but we've gotten real busy with our powder coating, so um, today I just kind of want to go over a new color, a new powder we're spraying. I've never done it. It's a multiple um, step process, so I kind of wanted to go over that with you and show you some tips some tricks and learn as i learn as well so come along all right first things first we got the illusion red from uh, prismatic powders um it has a metallic in it it's pretty sharp looking this is just a sample um you won't uh, get that without a clear coat so you need a clear coat with this process so it's a base and a clear here's the directions here's the colors right here about three pounds of each um so we got the clear and the um, the base as well. And basically what's gonna happen is, let me show you what we're coating. We got a set of coils, and they just come back from blast. They've been blasted down, as well as this frame section, um, with aluminum oxide blast grip. Because a nice profile, it's not super aggressive, it's just the right amount for an illusion color as well. So what we're gonna do is clean up our booth from the other color we just got done spraying. We're gonna clean out the oven because we're changing colors. Clean out the gun, we're gonna load up <clears throat> our base, so our illusion red, so to speak. We're gonna lay that on there. It basically goes in the oven and flows out, or gels out. So basically your oven is set to 375. When you put the parts in, you put the parts in, you're not worried about part temperature at this point. You put the parts in, and as soon as they flow out, or gel out, you add two minutes to that, then take them out. Let them cool, and then we apply the clear. So. I'm gonna get cleaning and then we will start laying it on there. All right, I know it's tedious, I know it's boring, but the cleaning is a very, very important part of part of coating, especially if you're limited to the use of one gun like myself. Um, we don't have the luxury or the money to buy multiple guns at this point. We hope to um, with multiple setups for different colors, common colors used every day. Um, but the big thing is when you're swapping from like metallics to a solid color, you gotta clean and clean thorough. And that's just, it's compressed air, it's blowing things out, it's wiping things down. But the last thing you want is metallics into a solid color that the customer wasn't expected to see. Um, so, we just went from a solid black, but it's still, it's black, and we're going to lose red. So, a good cleaning, a sweeping of the floor, changing of the filter, um, and, and the sweeping of the oven as well before we get started. But we're almost ready, we're gonna finish our cleaning, and then we'll get going. All right, now that we got everything cleaned out, ready to go, uh, we're using our Hyper Smooth O3 LED from Columbia Coatings gun. This has been a great gun for us. We're using the small fan tip um, that's going to go on there as well. The multi-coat nozzle will come into play with the clear coat, but for now that's not. We are just using the fan tip to lay down the red itself. We've got our coils here. Everything's blown off. Um, however, it's so cold in this shop, like 35, 40, the heat's on, but it's taking a while to heat up. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put these in the oven and bring them up to like, I don't know, between 80 and 100 degrees. It just helps things adhere and work better. You don't wanna go above 120 because we're not hot flocking it, but I just wanted to throw that out there. We're gonna heat the parts up a little bit and they're clean already, so they've been acetoned and cleaned down. Um, they've been washed, they've been blasted, they're ready to go. Uh, we're just gonna load up our Vortex cup because we actually are using the Vortex cup also by Columbia Coatings. Um, it, it works great for smaller amounts of powder. So if you had to put in like a half a pound or a third of a pound, that'd be enough to get these springs done and you don't have to use a big hopper or anything like that. All right, don't be alarmed. It is a little orangey looking. <laughs> it's not gonna look like that when everything is all said and done. Um, so be aware, and even after you take this out of the oven before you put the clear on it, it's not gonna look how you think it's gonna look, so don't be freaked out. Let's get it on there. All right, guys, we got our stuff out of the oven, and temperature-wise, we are pretty much where we wanna be. It's hard to get this thing to stay on there, but they, I just took them out a second ago. They were like 65, 70 degrees, so it's actually perfect. Um, the gun is loaded. I did some test sprays on a cup over here, so I'm gonna throw that in there as well. I did some fancy grinding designs. Didn't catch it on camera, but it's gonna be a cool like little tribute to this build as well. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay this stuff on here. And the key to this is you, you're shooting for about two mils of thickness. Um, it is gonna come out, I don't wanna say hard and fast, but you, you're shooting for an even coverage. So with that being said, I can't film the whole thing because I gotta go inside this. I gotta go in through the bottom. Coils are kind of a pain in the butt, but when they're done, they are freaking rad so let me finish spraying these out 
and we'll get them in the oven for the initial flow out. All right, as you can see, all sprayed out. They are gonna be metallic -y. They look kind of orange right now. They will look more red when they come out. I'm also very, very, very sparkly. Isn't that crazy? Um, but it's not gonna pop to what we want it to pop until we put the clear on it. So I'm gonna get them in the oven. We're gonna let these at three, the oven's at 375. We're gonna let these just flow out, not part temperature. As soon as they flow out, we're gonna add two minutes to a timer, take them out, let them cool, hit them with clear. All right, guys. Now those are in the oven coming up to temperature to just flow it out plus two minutes then they're coming out that's not a full cure in the meantime i went through again tedious process but completely cleaned the gun again swept up the floor blew everything down because when those cool and they come out we're going to go right to the clear now i could have just said oh you know what we're going to stick with the color we're going to put color on this next as well but because of the size of that i'm going to have to spray that in the cage out here and leave it in the cage through the whole time. So we'll get the springs completely done, the smaller parts, then we'll move to the bigger one. Um, you don't see the whole process again, I'll still show you the result, but we're all cleaned up, we're ready for the clear vision clear. Again, as soon as they flow out, they'll be coming out of the oven, I'll show you what they look like. It won't be what you think yet. All right, out of the oven, and as you can see, that is not the color you would be expecting to see, but that is gelled out and or flowed out and ready to cool back down now we did that after it flew up, flew out, yeah, after it flowed out, added two minutes to the timer, and then we're gonna go ahead and put the clear once this thing cools back down again. Um, that's when you're gonna see the color, I hope. All right guys, now that they've <clears throat> cooled down to 100 degrees or less, uh, I've gone ahead and filled up our Vortex hopper with the uh, Vision Clear from Prismatic and put our multi-coat nozzle on. And we've already coated one. As you can see, it's basically gonna end up looking white like snow when you've got it coated properly. Again, about two mils thickness or so. Um, so we'll go ahead and get the rest of these coated. Then back in the oven at 375. At that point, it's a full cure of part temperature at 375, about 18 minutes. All right, in the oven, time for the flow out. All right, fresh out of the oven. That's what we're talking about now. That is a beautiful color. I don't know if you can see the metallics. I'm trying to put the light in there. What I'll do is I'll bring one into the booth so you can see it that way. And it is, whoo, that's nice. All right, here we go. They're out in the light. It's still hard to tell, at least looking through the camera. But these came out absolutely beautiful. And the color matches, even the cup matches. That is nice. There's our color right there. Everything lines up very, very, very well. Um, again, that's over aluminum, but. I originally thought this was almost like a translucent color and it's not because I did some grinder marks in this cup and it actually completely covers those up, which is fine. But the springs came out absolutely beautiful. Um, very, very, very happy with that. And for a while it was touch and go because even 15 minutes in the oven, they're still very orangey. They didn't actually, the pigments for the red didn't come out until later in the bait cure process. So it's essential that your part hits 375 and you let it go that full 18 or 20 minutes um, we have the the uh, piece of the frame into the oven now again bringing it up to temperature probably around 100 degrees We're gonna roll that out. We're gonna spray it right in the stand itself because it's so big and we don't want to handle it up from the booth onto the rack So that we're gonna do the same process with that and I'll get you the end result of that one as well, but these are nice All right, we are out of the oven now. She's warm. She's a bit too warm We're gonna let it hit down down get down to that 100 degree temperature then we're gonna spray it right in this rack. We're grounded as well. Always gonna have a good ground. Same process, back in, let it flow out, take it back out, clear it, and it's gonna pop. but it is definitely not the same color as what it cures out to the clear on it. It's more of like a tangerine right now, and it's kind of like a semi-gloss or low gloss. But that clear is like a game changer. It's amazing how much it changes it.
guys, here it is, fresh out of the oven. The second stage is done. And that is a very sexy color. I'm not gonna lie. That is nice. That and the coil springs, we got a nice setup here. This is going on actually a potential SEMA build Jeep. So it had to be good and it is awesome. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today. Well, we took this prismatic powder, illusion red, the two-step process, and you hung out with us while we went in there, our new powder coat operation over here at Flippin' Customize, and we got to play around with some powder coat. So try to do more of the videos on powder coating because we do a fair amount of powder coat, and it is part of what we do. So we'll try to have more of those videos as we get some of these cool projects like this one. And it's just a really cool thing. It's nice to show it. And a few tips and tricks and things that we learned as well. Um, but again, guys, thanks for tuning in. Give us a like and a subscribe. We'll post more of this content as well as many of our other bids. So bids, builds, whatever. Take care, guys. Have a good one.